We're now going to have a look at the metatarsal shafts. Now, if we look at the skeletal anatomy before we do this, we can see here very clearly that the length of the shaft that we need to have a look at. And we can have a look at this in both a short axis, but also a long axis view uh, through this region. Classically, what we're looking for here are stress responses. And there's a number of pieces of literature that explore that topic in more detail. But we're looking for cortical change around these areas. Always bear in mind with stress fractures, that they don't often show on x-ray for the first 10 to 14 days because there's a lack of callus formation at that point. Ultrasound can be extremely helpful to pick up periosteal change, but also very good at picking up subtle cortical change or occult fractures as they're often termed, which don't always show that clearly on x-ray. So when we're gonna have a look on ultrasound, we're gonna pop our probe on first of all, and we're gonna find a metatarsal shaft. Now for the purpose of this one, we're gonna find the second, which is here. And what I would encourage you to do is just to get used to the normal appearance of these metatarsal shafts. You can see the outline of them here very clearly, okay? And what you're looking to do is as you're evaluating this is move your probe up and down these metatarsal shafts as far as you can and come all the way back down, keep them nicely centered in the middle of the screen, all the way down to your metatarsal phalangeal joint, which is there. You can see that little drop away. You've got extensor tendon on top. Run back up and looking at that cortical outline, looking for a smooth outline, no hypochoic fluid collection superficial, no jagged edges to that cortex. It should be nice and smooth. You can then also have a little look in long axis as well. So certainly if you see something in short axis, it's very important to verify in long axis. So again, one view is a view too, sh a view too few, get my words out as we often say. So having a look in long axis there, and again, you can see that metatarsal shaft very, very clearly all the way up. Again, as I said earlier, just make sure that you're totally on the metatarsal shaft, that you're not oblique to it like that. You can create what looks like a fracture by being slightly oblique. So make sure that you're totally and utterly parallel to that structure with a reverberation artifact deep to it. You can then follow that all the way down back into the metatarsophalangeal joint.